here we are strolling down the streets of Miami doing our little walk. Obviously, like, didn't get this on camera because I probably would have died. Yeah, I d no, do you imagine? <laughs> Olivia. Hello guys, nice to meet you. I will be introducing you as oh. that from now. Oh! Oh no! I keep on dropping this fucking color. Maybe we should stop filming. Okay. It's very cute over but here wait. though. Here is our room. Two double beds. Little closet there. TV. And another hotel next to us. Oh! Gotta show you the bathroom. The light is not super bright. It's kind of dull. That sucks. But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna work with it. There's enough natural lighting in the room in general. So, so this is the shower. Everything is just so perfect. <laughs> My shoes are from Nordstrom, and my skirt is from Revolve. Super cute. They also have it in like pink, black. It's a good skirt. And then this little bandeau underneath my top. I couldn't tell you where I got it from because I probably got it like seven, five, eight years ago. I don't know. Anyways, the pink top is also from Revolve, and uh, we love it. Yeah, that's the outfit. Like Malibu Bar, no Miami Barbie. Yeah. So here is my outfit of the night. This is so embarrassing. My Ooh. dress is from <laughs> Heels are from ASOS and I've got them wrapped around like a madman because they do fall off my feet. And I am six feet tall without heels. So I'm, I think six, three or six, four in these, but that's okay. And clear moment for the back of the dress, you know, well, stunning kind of funky over here, but yeah. And we'll see how long my hair lasts for before it frizzes up into Curly, a curly mess. Woo! Woo! So cute! I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're born ready. Pool. Yes. Got some tanning done and just relaxing and honestly, just recovering. I was fighting for my life up there. I can't even <laughs> lie. I was, I was struggling a little bit. So. <laughs> honestly, I think I just woke up still drunk. It's real. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. We have to tell them what happened. Oh my <laughs> so I wake up. My bed's there. Olivia's bed's here. And I look over and you just like open your eyes and she's got a black hoodie on. And yeah. she goes, ah! <laughs> I just scream. <laughs> she just screamed. I thought you saw me and you're like, oh my god, a human, and you no. got scared. No, no, no. I, but the thing is, I wear contacts. I wouldn't even be able to like see Nicole, like even from this distance. So when I saw the side of my hood, I thought Nicole was in my face like this, waiting for me to wake up. I, I thought I saw a man, like or, or like, someone. Or, yeah. Your hood made you think someone was like hovering like, over yeah. you. Yeah. So I'm so blind, I can't see anything, and it was the only thing I saw. It scared the shit out of me, and I think that's also why I woke up. Well, I think I woke up so drunk because I was not, I wouldn't have done that any other. But we're, we made it. We're, we we're doing it. We certainly had an adventure last night. We did. And Robin Thick. Yep. That was very that was random. random. 
that was random. Anyways. Anyways, the Uber drivers are really nice here. By the so way, friendly. we've been having a pleasant experience. Very so. pleasant. This is my outfit today. Got a little skirt, and then the sandals matching with my purse. Okay, we're at this place called Sun Life Organics, and it has bowls and smoothies. We both got a little Brazilian yeah. bowl, is that what it was called? Yes, ma'am. It's got acai and other stuff, so. Looking you know delicious. So good. Two thumbs up from Olivia, let me tell you. <laughs> you guys, we just took public transit. We did. We're proud of ourselves. We persevered. We did it. Yeah. We did an Uber. So we went from like South Beach to downtown Miami. Um, but it was freezing. The bus was so cold. It was very cold. For no reason. But and I was snuggling beside like some, some strong guy. <laughs> <laughs> we were so we were like and sitting he was, arm in arm and I was like, okay. <laughs> and he was emanating heat. He was. It was so nice. So nice. I didn't have that luxury. I was sitting next to a little old lady. Actually, you were Bless sitting in the Rosa Parks uh, spot. There was oh. a sticker above her head that said this is Rosa Parks stage. Nice. We are matching. <laughs> matching sweaters. Woo. Oh yeah, I'll show the back of yours. Oh yeah. Nice. And also too, the hoods are like huge. I love it. Show the back of Nicole's. And it matches her nails, guys. Oh Look. <gasps> I didn't even realize. It says, true love. Wait, Bellows Film Lab. So cute. And it matches the aesthetic. Like we, we love it. Yachty was here yesterday. Mm -hmm. Do with that information what you will. So we had to go. She just said, or sorry, gelato. Yeah. gelato form. Yeah. That is literally a cheesecake. That's definitely what I'm gonna have. That's perfect, thank you. <laughs> you guys, we were on the bridge and Olivia said, I thought she said call 911, but she said I accidentally <laughs> called 911. Yeah. And then the bell started ringing for the bridge to like go up. So I was like, what? What's no, going on? And I out. freaked out. Because I hear call 911 and then the bell's ringing and the bridge is going up. Anyways, here's the bridge going up. That, why am I so fascinated by this? <laughs> Holy. I want to see the boat. Oh. I thought it would be a bigger boat. I thought it would be a... I don't, think, I don't know what I expected for a bridge to be. Back to the hotel now. Hello, good morning. Hello. Welcome to day number three. Today is our first time going to the beach. We have not yet gone to the beach since being here. To be fair, yesterday was supposed to thunderstorm and it like didn't until 9, 10 p.m. So we were like, ah, can't go to the beach just in case because it kept saying it was gonna rain, get a thunderstorm, and then it never did. So we're very excited, but first, we are going back to that Sun Life Organics. Sun Life Organics, that smoothie store. Anyways, let's go to the beach. Look at smiley face. Aww. <laughs> yeah, that looks delicious. I got the Buddha Bowl this time. Nice. So good. Which one did I get? Dragon Ball. Can we?
you guys my burger. <laughs> my veggie burger literally came with nothing on it. I can't make this up. I just had a feeling that this would happen. And uh, yeah. And it did. <laughs> Mine's good <Yeah. got> though. <laughs> well that's good, happy for you. I'm just waiting for some toppings. I told her to literally get anything. At least the salad's good. It's simple, but it's good. So, Olivia and I are sitting here and we notice on the menu of the restaurant that we're currently at A very tiny, very tiny font, like the smallest font ever And the only reason I noticed is I was looking at the dessert in the bottom corner of the yeah. menu Yeah, at the very bottom of the menu it says 20% service charge included So then we're like, hmm, wait a second Why was our bill at Sexy Fish the other night so big when we only got two drinks each? Yeah And then we think back, oh, we took a picture of the receipt, we go back, listen, listen, we didn't know every single place would have a 20% service charge, okay? We didn't know. Usually in Canada, it's like, if there's a lot of people in the party, there's a service charge. Yeah, there's like, um, there's rules. To yes, it. and also, if it is, if the restaurant does have a service charge, every single time, they like circle it, stamp it on the receipt, and tell you. Like, you have to Because there, told. yeah, there's yeah. a couple restaurants in Toronto that always have a service charge, regardless of how big the table is or the amount of your party, whatever, and they always tell you, but that's not the case here. So, if you haven't been here and you don't know that, PSA, be careful, be careful because uh, apparently the service charge is 20% and it's included everywhere we go. So, cheers to that. Cheers to that, guys. Well, that's okay, I guess our bartender just got a 40% tip. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I just start filming and here you go, America. Look at that. America. America. We were at the beach. We left the beach to get lunch. Got a little ice cream. And now we're back at the beach. <laughs> ah, the sweet sounds of Miami Beach. I know. <laughs> it's either a truck or people going, ah, oh, dogs, margaritas, mojito. Olivia! Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. We <laughs> met. I'm dressing bright. Yeah, I'm gonna dress bright tonight as well. Don't know what I'm wearing yet. We'll see. Get the goal. It's okay. Hmm. I like it. I'm pretty you anything like tastes great. So. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Quick little story time that we forgot to tell you the other day. Oh, literally yesterday. Yeah. Literally yesterday. Literally yesterday. Okay. Obviously, like didn't get this on camera because I probably would have died. Yeah, I <laughs> no, could you imagine? Here we are, strolling down the streets of Miami, doing our little walk, walking from that neighborhood to the downtown we core. We were on like Miami Ave, like I yeah. think that's the main road around here. Miami Street or something, but it was like kind of sus. So we're walking down this one part that's like looking a little, a little sketchy. You know what I mean? Like, hmm, where did the people go? The stores were closed totally like, yeah. Uh, covered, bars up, not a soul to be found except for like a very random person here yes. or there not seen or doing anything. Yeah. So I think that's what kind of sussed us out. And don't worry, we did leave that area, of course. However, before we got to leaving that street, we saw a man. <laughs> I literally can't believe I'm saying this. Like, this would never happen in Canada Ever. or probably any other country. Anyways. I mean, maybe depending on the country. Yeah. Not, uh, not, okay, don't yeah. take that literally, but you know what I mean. A man in a bulletproof vest, shorts and a t-shirt, and two, two, not one, two guns on both of his hips. Or sorry. Like, yeah. <laughs> two guns, the, one on each hip. Yeah. That, not four guns, two. It's insane. Just one so casually. Here, one here. And he's just like walking down the street. I don't know, this guy clearly gave no fucks though. And it really puts it into perspective for the amount of people who actually do carry and you never know who you're surrounded by. You never no, know literally. Are. Like you always gotta be aware of your surroundings. We're in Canada, we take that for granted I think because we just obviously assume- Oh! I'm sorry for cutting you off. Okay, you can carry a gun, yes, but can you openly carry? That is what I'm wondering. Open carry is not legal in Florida. Huh. 
but it was fine. We were fine. He posed no threat to us. We were just he like, oh my god, literally did you walked see by. that? Definitely a news flash for us over here. So just be careful. And now we're gonna head out. Open so. Also really good oh, too. These are really good. You would hope so. Yeah, you would hope so for the price <laughs> that you pay. <laughs> Thank you. It's the perfect size. It is. Update. It is delicious. However, I should note that it was 28 US dollars, which is 40. Yep, you heard me. 40 Canadian dollars. I was 34. Oh my god. So that is absolutely insane. Like truly this is one of the most, this is the most expensive city I've ever been in for sure. And I like, I thought Toronto was expensive. Toronto is expensive. So just something to know when you come here, everywhere you go, it's just insanely expensive. Like 40 Canadian dollars for a smoothie and a little avocado toast. But we had a feeling. Yeah, we knew, we knew we were signing up for this, but just wanted to give you a little PSA. You know it's expensive, but it's gonna be even more expensive than you realize. So, but that's okay. That's okay. It's all about the experience. Wait. This place is so cool. Like, does this, does this not look like a movie set? Like, straight up? Like that little, that little vintage theater? So Olivia actually found this place by accident the other day. I was looking for a film from Urban Outfitters and of course we didn't have any. So she took us here today. I kept on telling Nicole, I was like, we've got to go, we've got to go. Yeah. But I, I wasn't yeah. describing what it was properly because I don't know, how do you even like really describe this an outdoor mall? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I was on this side. Mm -hmm. So cute. You see the yellow trees and all of that. Aww. No, Love this it. is so cute. That guy was smiling at me. <laughs> Did you see that? I just smiled back at him. No, I wasn't <laughs> he was laughing. This is what I'm doing. Walking and vlogging. Oh. 
It's yeah. night number four. We're gonna have a fun night. We're gonna probably explore the nightlife of the Brickle area yep. again. And then we're gonna go to most likely the same club we were at last night if you saw little clips of it. But yeah. there's a reason a that we're doing reason. that. A very valid and reasonable reason. reason. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Kodak Black is performing tonight, baby girl. That's my man, that is my husband, that is my everything, and I could not miss it for the world. Exactly, so, so we can't miss that. So. And he's a Florida native. And again, mm -hmm. Nicole's looking beautiful in color, I am looking dark and black, and that's what the trip is gonna be. That's just, that's just how it yeah, is. Yeah, that's just how that's it is. That's just how we roll, obviously. Creature of habit, honestly. Exactly. I need to finish my, I need to finish my cooler. <laughs> I, I and won't. then we're gonna go. <laughs> then we're gonna go, cheers to that, guys. Cheers. And we're 23 and 25, this is not underage drinking. Yes. Same. And I already finished my drink. She's killing the game way faster than I ever could. I'm a slow drinker. I'm a slow drinker because I only drink shots. <laughs> so. And I days. just, I don't know. This is painful for me, sipping on this shit. What? Got this. Anyways, we're gonna go now. We'll keep you updated.